Automation can be recorded either in real time or drawn in the timeline. So if I want to do automation in real time, I'm going to be in the mixer page. And the only thing I have to do is to press record, press play, and then start moving my automation. And my automation has been recorded. I can also automate mute, volume, solo, and all the parameters, including the sends. So it's very intuitive to record automation in real time. If I want to edit or draw automation, I simply need to go to the timeline. And down here, instead of looking at my notes, I'm going to look at my parameters. If I want to see a new lane of automation, I just tap in the middle of the screen and I can just look at my low EQ. And this is my low EQ automation. And if I want to draw it, I simply have to select a grid and just by holding my finger and then moving it across the screen, I can draw automation. It's very simple. It is very important that you keep saving your project as you make changes. So by tapping up here, I can access the main menu. And as you can see, there's a quick save option. By tapping there, your project is saved. You can also save and duplicate it or save and close it. In the same menu, we can export our project in different ways. We can do a mix down, we can export stems or share it directly on YouTube. To do a mix down, I simply tap mix down and then the file was created and you will be able to access it through the file sharing section in iTunes. You can also use audio copy if it's installed on your iPad in order to share it with other audio copy and paste compatible applications. I can do the same with stems. The advantage of stems is that I'll be able to do further mixing in my DAW since each track will be saved separately. <laughs> 